man, it just always is raining whenever I do these Halloween games. Weird. Same thunder, same fireplace crackle. Well, this is Scare Pack 2. That's what I'm calling it. Even though only some of these are from Vigibum, who made Scare Pack 1. So I have four games from Vigibum, and two that are separate. Including something that will be very interesting for people who liked something I played last year. I'm going to hold that to the end. So also, um, I still have people saying, Vinny, you promised you'd play Albino Lullaby 2 when it came out. Vinny, you promised. Where is it? It, it didn't come out yet. <laughs> it's just not out. So I can't play it. Um, but I promised, and people are getting angry at me because I haven't played it yet. But it's not out yet, so fuck. But that's why we're going to do some other stuff instead. Like, the shedding. And then... A frog horror game. And many, many more. Welcome to the Spooptober Zone. Seems like we got some motion blur. Just gonna have to deal with it. That was quick. I'm just gonna take down the volume a little bit. I was just in there. Was it the same? Was it different? Was it... I don't know. It's PT. Just remember. Jump scares are the hardest thing. To implement. Horror video game. Really want to scare someone. Jump scare. Someone in chat just said, I'll be really impressed if someone manages to pull off a squat scare. That was a jump chair. This is a VR game that I'm not playing in VR, but just letting you know it's designed for VR, so it's one of those things.
Uh, make us wide again, Isaac. You know what? I you know what would have been really cool. One, if I turned around and there were like violin players, violinists, or what I thought was happening was I thought what looked like I was going upstairs was eventually going to turn into me going downstairs, and this was going to be the floor. I thought that was where that was going, and that would have been pretty. That would have been pretty good. So if you make games. You want an idea, that's a free one. But I don't want you to put my name, I want you to put Farty McGillicuddy in the credits. If you don't, you can't have the idea. I don't- listen, this is gonna be a little vulgar, so turn off now, if you can't handle a little vulgar, okay? But, since I started playing this, <laughs> my right ball started hurting. Listen, I don't know if it has anything to do with this, but it probably does. So I want you to know, if you continue watching this, and you have them, careful, watch out. You too might get ball ache. My hog? Oh shit. Alright, it's good now. It's just a twisted pair. It's it's Neil Breen's new movie, don't worry about it. So I'm really, um I'm not obviously I'm not into jump scares all that much, but aside from that, this has some pretty good red, and it's, it's building some decent atmosphere. I mean, it's pretty generic, but I guess as a VR tech demo, it works. If it even is a tech demo. Vinny, this looks like a shitty Fallout 4 area without the loot. But you know, my balls is hot. When um, you know when you're playing a game like this, all you need is a chair to jump. And that can be scarier than almost anything else if you're tense already. So you have to build the player into a sense of, of unease and tension. And then you can just move the chair. I may as well use this time to advertise that I am currently streaming Silent Hill 2 during the week. <laughs> as well as some weird underwater game. That's also scary. So. Yep. Sell out. Advertise the, my own stream that I'm on. <laughs> but it's true. I streamed part one. Did like two hours. Almost three hours of it. And I liked it. And I know it's gonna get weirder from there on out, and I've never played it before, so... But it is pretty good. I was digging it. There was like clowns on tricycles, like really small ones. They were sending toy cars to get my Achilles heel. But in all seriousness, in all seriousness for a moment. Dank, dingy, gross areas like this. It's just violins for the sake of violins. I've been... some... I 
I've been in a place like this once before. Dutch angle. Dutch angles now. Not like this, but I mean just scummy. Like, scummy and derelict. Not for very long, though. Not for very long. But I tried to do some... I tried to do ghost hunting. You know, Rev does ghost hunting. But I did... go into a couple places. Mostly places that were supposedly haunted on my college campus. And one time I agreed to... do some camera work. For an old, abandoned... church. So it didn't really look like this. It wasn't a prison or anything, but... And I was only inside for a brief moment, and there were, like, a lot of lights, so we could film the thing. And nothing happened. But it kind of doesn't matter. It kind of doesn't matter when you're in a place that's... Because, you know, I did... That was, like... Filmed a lot of different things for a lot of different people, and... I liked doing the haunted stuff. Did like a couple episodes. You know, you've seen my edit where I um, did a video and I used Castlevania music. That was fun. But I never actually had to go in those places because I was just editing and, and, you know, putting pictures together and filming the outside. But going into it, an abandoned, fucked up place, even if rationally you do not believe in ghost. Haha, <laughs> you do not believe ghosts, Greg? It kind of doesn't matter because it's still... Yeah, it's just uneasy. You, it just doesn't feel right. Which is... You know, it's a fun thing that your shitty brain can do to you. We, we all have, like, shitty brains to some extent. Some shittier than others. But my shitty brain at the time was like, hey... There's something going on here. You're being watched. Am I stuck? I think the table... Go around? I tried. I think the table might be glitched, like it, it got knocked in such a way that it's blocking me. Go left. Tried. Become the table. I am the table. I can't- I can't do anything with the table. Um, yeah, this might be a soft lock, I'm not sure. Why did you leave the keys on the table? I, I don't know, I didn't see any keys jump over it. I can't run, I can't jump, I can't duck. Phase through it. Trying. Okay, I'm going to attempt to go around, but no, that, no, bench. No, that's not enough room to move. I'm sure in VR that's going to feel real realistic. Okay, well, this is poop. It was kind of cool up until then, but even as cool as it was, it was still kind of relegated to prison jump scares, but it had a little bit more going on than that. They were clever, at least. You keep walking past the way you need to go. I... didn't... think so? The table is not supposed to... block you. Okay, so we've got confirmation. Jeff played this already. Someone was watching him play it. The table is not supposed to... um... physics 
its way into getting me stuck. So... I guess the last question I want to ask that person or whoever else that knows... Um, how much more is there to this? Like, how, how much am I missing if I stop now? Not much. The ending was nothing special. Fair enough, then. Okay. Well, we're gonna stop. Just gonna look at the table one more time, see if maybe it reset itself. Maybe... God will have some small mercy upon me. Well, that's how you ruin what was otherwise a pretty mediocre but decent enough game experience. Oh well. Hmm. Northbury Grove? Cranberry North sauce. Cranberry Grove is a quaint forest community. The serenity and solitude of Northberry Grove is far removed from the chaos and cultural cacophony of Spectre City, just a few hours away. But on one fateful night, this humble community will be shaken to its core by the harrowing crimes of a cold-blooded killer. Connor and Crystal are among the dozens traveling to Spectre Forest. Deep within the woods is the Rock the Warehouse Music Festival. <laughs> what? They've arrived early to get their volunteer passes from their friend, Grace Bailey. Little do they know, they should have set this one out. Bum, bum, bum. Kind of cool. VHS filter again. Love it or hate it. At least it's it's some it has some style. Are the frame rates okay, chat? Or are the frame rates completely fucked? They're not supposed to be completely fucked. That's what it's supposed to look like. Cool music. What's up with that log? Sorry, I shouldn't be focusing on logs. Like I said the other day, or, well, last week, there's gonna be a lot of these VHS games. This filter, like, kinda covers up a lot of the... Well, I mean, just look down. But it works. I'm not sick of it yet. I don't think it's also been done perfect yet. I think it's been done well, but not perfect, so I'm okay with seeing more of it. Grace hasn't picked up her phone in hours. They're probably wasted. Stop staring at me. Oh, hey, dude! Who would leave a car running like that? They went heavy on the electronic music this year. Paragon OS? The hell? I am come. I'm currently headed to the 
King's Comfort Motel, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. Good job interview. So what year does that place this? Yo, what the hell? You just followed me. I guess that's not quite the 80s, is it? It's actually modern day and the main character is a hipster? I believe that. But then who would leave their phone in the... ...perlet? Well, it's a pad. Oh, that's cool. Was oh, it like a goat demon? That's nice. Where is everyone? They went on a spirit journey. They became fun guys. Like the song during the break. Horrible smelling tent. You couldn't pay me to go in there. Parking yacht. Then you have a computer that's huge. Even though there apparently is tablet technology. Grace checked in, so she's been here. <laughs> Crabtree, Carpenter, Thrasher. Scythe Universe. Oh, I see. Scythian Spirits, that's the name of the place, I guess. <laughs> Where is everybody? Where is everything? It wasn't modeled. Oh. It's just a model. If we can't find Grace, I say we just leave. She always does this. Stop staring at me, weirdo. <laughs> Why is this locked? Where the hell is everyone? We need to cut this lock. Definitely... I love the setting of this. I mean, you could just climb it, maybe. A little bit of dexterity. <laughs> Just get on over that. Getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Well, spooky noises. Meat channel. It's a woman crying about her baby. Sounds like she lost it. I thought that was like the meat channel. 24-7 meat. The NPC can't get over here. To find indoor accommodations, with King's Comfort being the closest option, just three miles away from the festival site. <laughs> Soar? That scared me more than the game. Me sneezing was... Alright.
but because nothing's happened yet, maybe we should just burn this place down. What is, what is that? Is there someone here? Trumpet blasts. Vinny, fake sneeze. It's a real sneeze. The duck is fake. I do that because I don't like to sneeze or cough on camera or barp or anything like that. But sometimes I can't mute in time and I just have to sneeze before I can mute. So I have to turn. Well, I don't have to, but what I do is I then I, I turn it into a duck sound and it becomes well, it becomes a moment as opposed to ew. Jesus. It's it's a fake. An old grandfather clock. So wait, you mean to tell me there's a goat man on the loose? That's sick. Those donkey man? Dude, when I was in the place, there was donkey brains. I was a goat man. Frank Reynolds' best friend was a frog boy. Power is is the power back on or what? Key card reader. Find the key card. Turn the power on. <laughs> You're using way too many napkins. Oh shit, the meat room! <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm gonna try to complete this, but... It's pretty cool. It's dumb, but it's also kind of cool. So I don't have bolt cutters. I, it's like... The only thing is I have to find a bunch of things. I have to find... The key, I have to turn the power on. There's like too many... Too many fucking things that I have to do. That I don't know how to do. Up, 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 up. Oh, man! He's too fucking fast! It's, a, it's like impossible to get away from the fucker. So I guess some, someone said I should check every locker. 
Seems a little BS to me, but alright, let's try it. Vinny, is that a frame rate thing? I don't know. I mean, I, there's no way to lock it. As far as I'm aware. So if the dude's going way too fast because of... Like, improper frame rates, then I... That's just game over for me, because I can't fix that shit. There's the key card, at least. to the meat man's room. Maybe there's bolt cutters. Severed limb. A doll wrapped in human skin. keep making the noise he makes every time he catches me. I'm locked. I'm locked in. Ah! Yeah, if you get caught, you're just fucked. That's it. It's over. It's over. Uh, I'll try a little bit more and then I'll probably move on. I think I need the bolt cutters to turn the power on so I can get into that area. I don't know where the bolt cutters are. What? Doesn't look like the game crashed because the filter is still going. Okay. Did I win? Did I go into a different fucking dimension? Alright. Looks like I won. Yeah, that's okay. I think we, for the spirit of moving on and seeing the rest of the stuff that I have, I'd prefer to keep moving. It was pretty cool, though, and that killer was way too fast, but 
Potential. Definitely had potential. Got potential. Credential. All right. Uh, this one is called an empty house. Oh man, what is this like graphic style from? It's like dithering, but it reminds me of like old. Game consoles. SVGA. Yeah, that's the one. So people are saying that the bitrate is completely fucked. Is just is this just unwatchable in that case? No, it's fine. Almost. Okay. Well, for the record, it looks good. Me playing it looks good. Of course, buffering and streaming is going to diminish that. Almost got stuck in the wall there. Um, but it looks pretty good on my end, at least. Yeah, it's supposed to look pixelated. It's all dithered. Strange humming noises. Anything? Oh my god. Oh my god! Yo, I want another hit. Give me another hit of that shit. It's like the fucking museum from a couple weeks ago. Is that what happened? Oh, empty. Is that what happens when you look at the sun in real life for too long? I'm sure the people who have stared at the sun too long are here in chat able to type the answer to that question because they can definitely still see 100%. So, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Um, Jeff, is there anything I should be doing? Are there any- What the fuck? It's like kind of making meat noises. The answer I got was walk off the world. Can't. Stuck on a window. Don't tell me this is a legit game mechanic. <laughs> I usually walk off the world on Sundays. And at, at this time it's encouraged that I do so.
Vinny, you are a conduit for glitches and anomalies. That's the best I've ever heard that explained or described. It's just a concise, well-worded way to put that. Hmm. All right. Okay. I hit escape. And now everything is green. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, it was like such perfect Sunday trash. I love it. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. A wonderful day for fishing is next. Quote unquote game. Gulf flounder. Small fish in a big pond. Let's eat it. Sand trout. The smell is intoxicating. Let's eat it. Bait worm. Fish got away, but worm is still alive. Let's eat it. It's like the spoop game slowly transitioned into getting weird with it games. Saltwater base. <laughs> Bass. The sky reflects off its scales. Let's eat it. Old man, look at my fish. I'm a lot like you were. Does this turn into a fucking... a scare game? No. Saltwater bass... bass. I can feel the tar inside me. Let's eat it. No, no, it's kind of just a weird little fun game. Nothing too crazy. Mm -mm. Bait worm, a living remnant of my failure. Let's eat it. Sand trout. It smells like swine feed. Love these descriptions. Back when I used to go fishing, I too would eat the worms. Now I like to go crabbing with raw chicken. Red snapper, its head whispers to me. Let's eat it. I like to go crabbing. You'd put raw chicken on a string. On like twine or something. And then you would you drop that down and you see like crabs like floating to get the raw chicken. I swear to God. It's legit. Sure is red. Oh, let's eat more of that. Less red? 
cool stuff only happens if you release things. Not true. Even releasing the worm doesn't really do anything that interesting. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this game. I have no idea what kind of mechanics are happening behind the scene. Someone else just said nothing does anything interesting. Now that's weird. Okay, so the, the fucked up fish, if you eat it twice in a row, you still get... You still get back to normal, though I did see some teeth for a second. I'm gonna give this another two and a half minutes. really getting bored here. Eat, just keep eating. Alright. Well, as someone in chat just said, first you eat, then you- oh! I don't like that. It's fangs sink into my flesh. I feel awakened. Let's eat it. Slight acid rain. Let's keep eating. How did the fish, like, take the bait if it didn't have a head? This one. Figure in its mouth scratches trying to escape. I feel like... I guess more effects on the dude would have been better? Like, some of these fish are, like, kind of fucked up looking and there's only a couple of effects. Cloud looks like a turd. <sighs> yes, it does. The most exciting thing that's happened in about five minutes. But it does indeed. There's a meat cube? Well, hang on a minute. There's a meat cube. This game takes a little while to get good. That person probably never saw this game before I started streaming it, but if they have... I wanna... You know, I wanna take a minute, and I wanna see if there's a flesh cube. I wanna get the flesh cube. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes, maybe two. Two more minutes. That's it. Two more minutes until flesh cube. There is a flesh cube, I've seen it played before. There's also a flesh cube in Mario Party 
Super Mario Party game. I'm never going to get used to calling it Super Mario Party, but there is a flesh cube mini game where you have to cook a meat cube. Maybe my RNG just sucks, like when I was playing the cursed toys and I didn't get the good stuff. Just like real fishing, it takes time. I agree. It's just taken a lot of time. And my... My luck has been very bad. At least we get the nice soothing sounds of the ocean for you to fall asleep to, and then I can wake you up with a fucking terrifying game. Okay, two more after that. We're gonna get to the sunken cost fallacy now, where... If I don't get the meat cube, I'm going to be very disappointed. But if I get the meat cube, I'm gonna be disappointed. Okay, that was- that was a couple more. Alright, so we'll do, uh, like two more, three more fish. I'm just going to eat the next three, and if we don't get a meat cube, then I shut the game off. There it is. Flesh cube. It pulsates. It wants to be a part of me. <laughs> and it did almost nothing. Oh, wait, I'm sinking. I want to be a part of the ocean. Take me down to your kingdom, ocean man. the kingdom of Cthulhu Fuggin. It's like the band in Titanic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that just it then? Catching fish? Someone in chat just had literally sunken cost fallacy. What a wonderful day for fishing that was. That would have been cool if I got all the shitty things and then the meat cube right in the beginning. And then people would have been like, oh, I remember that fishing game. That was cool. That was a good two-minute stream, but I got really unlucky and it turned into like a, a ten-minute stream. You didn't get to see his head come off? I'll just pretend it did. So remember, chat. If you want more of that game, just keep, like, just post a lot of messages in chat if you want another half hour of that. People saying no, are, are, you're also commenting to the cause of us playing more of that. But, I have the sequel.
They breathe. So no, I've never played this before. This was something that was recommended. It's on Steam. to... are you frogs following me? It looks like I have to get the air bubbles lest I turn yellow and fucking die. Oh, okay. Here, you need air. Come to me, come to me. Quick. Don't get yourself killed. It's not worth it. Get some air. Sorry. Fuck. It's a lot harder than it seems. Push them. <laughs> Froggy daycare. Seems in your quest to give other frogs oxygen, you have suffocated yourself. Excuse me. Excuse you! Fuck. Turtle frog? The moose fish? It looks like a frog. You know what? Oh, 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 god. You know what I thought it was? I thought it was an upside down frog on a turtle. It's dead now, Jim. Don't worry about it. No, it wasn't that. It was like a water buffalo. That was the joke, I think. Apparently, I'm supposed to maybe not let that get air. No, no, don't do that. Don't, no. Oh, fuck. Drowned. Okay, it's dead. He makes you really hate that. Water moose. Froggies, stay out of the way. Don't don't get captured. Son of a bitch. You're good. Go. Oh. Return. Return to the top. Get help.
This is not what I was expecting. It's going to be much more like Frog Fractions or just some dopey ambient frog game. That's, that's bad. Those are bad bubbles. Those are poison... poison bubbles. Vinny, have you noticed the trees with their lung things? Uh, I was hoping to ignore that. The game mechanics in this game are completely fucking unique. Not sure if that's a compliment. I think it is. I think it <laughs> I think that's me giving the game a compliment. It's a bullfrog? Oh my god. Go. Go. Go, frog! Tell the others of what you've seen! This is enthralling. <laughs> but it's so... It's so silly, too. There we go. There is water at the bottom of the ocean. That's not okay. That's not okay. Fuck you. You stop that. I think, yep, gotta fill that one up with oxygen. The mechanic changes. This is not- okay! Okay, oh, they can combo! Oh. God, I don't have to start the whole thing all over again. But yeah, if I let them combo, they'll just kill each other. Hopefully. Ideally. Again.
Fucking hell. I'm good. I'm good. One more. going now let's see if we go oh jesus all right yep there's more to discover it's the pond it's, it looks like a pond it's an underwater pond there is water at the bottom of the ocean I don't have high hopes for that frog. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god! It took him, it claimed him. He croaked. I don't like this pit. Was a frog for a head. That's why they want them so bad. I mean, I, I thought it was a frog for a head, but then I was like, oh, wait, no, it's a like a water buffalo or something. Maybe that's the joke. can do here. This game is fucking hard. I'm get the water bubble or air bubble. <laughs> water bubble. Get get the air. Did you see that? It transferred! This is fucked. Oh, 
there's another one. I'm sorry, froggies, I couldn't save you. How is how is a game like this so fucked up? for when they're about to die. Kind of not anything I can do about it at that point. Finally. I don't want to even know what's over there. Just let me save some froggies, please. I got one. Fuck, I just all tabbed out. I hit the Windows key by accident. And I'm dead. Like, I'm using a controller for this, but I have the keyboard on my lap. <laughs> Things got a little intense for a minute there. Very good. Oh, fuck, far Froggy. No. This is where all the air bubbles were coming from. Mother brain. Mother frog. What the hell are they doing down here? Are, are they dead yet? I, I, I don't think they're dead. They're still moving. They're being like, like parasitically influenced.
Okay, so far so good. I don't want to join them. No chat, I'm not joining them, chat. Fucked up. Tack frog jellies. Now I get it. No, 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 don't l let me take you down to Strawberry Fields. Don't do it. God damn it. Good checkpoints. Let these fuckers die. Okay, good, you're dead. One more jelly, and all the frogs will be free. Well, let's say they'll be dead. And not zombified. We did it. There's no happy ending here, really. All the frogs that were being used for their nefarious purposes are dead. Bittersweet. At least our main frog lives. No more rot in this pond. Maybe now the frogs can swim in peace. At least for a little while. Until they're dragged back, back to the bottom of the pond. Into the pit. Where a new jelly will arise. We can only hope that this frog makes it to the top before drowning. That was, that was wonderful. I love that. Those little frog bastards won my heart. Glad they're okay, though. Glad they're okay. I hope they'll be okay. Vinny, now check your images folder. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work this time. Mortos.
Faith Chapter 2 is coming out soon. This is the standalone demo. Hello. I'm a holy man, I must do my job. The birth of the emote, finally, it's back. I'll get you. I don't know what he said. I, I, did your spirits betray you? The spirits betray you, maybe. Your faith is weak. There it is. with you so? Why you guys are like demon transcribers. How the hell? Why why are you you shouldn't know that chat. You know that's very cursed. You're okay now, dog. You're free. About a week ago, we started hearing those awful noises coming from the adjacent fields. After three nights, the children were getting pretty scared. I told them it was just coyotes. That third night, the noises seemed closer than ever. The dogs were panicking. I could hardly approach them. Then Greta, the lost, the last of that old line brought over by the German missionaries, broke loose and tore off into the corn. We all listened. Too scared to go after her, as her barks faded away into the distance. After that, we had two nights of silence, besides the endless whispering of the wind blowing through the crops. But then, this morning, I stepped outside to see this fresh horror left at the edge of the field. There's something out there. gone. What more could I have done? I warned them not to go into the fields. I warned them against straying too far from the sanctuary. Should I have shut them in their quarters and nailed boards over the doors? Now I am digging six graves here in the shadow of the church. Six little graves forever looking to the St. William. Some of the boxes are empty. The scattered remains we found couldn't fill them all, but I know they're all gone. I know their souls were taken by that thing in the field. I will finish my gruesome work and then renounce the ministry. I don't want to see anyone from the sanctuary ever again. 
not even that girl who stayed inside the house last night. I don't believe in the devil anymore. Whatever did this is much, much worse. Is that abandoned church I was talking about? We have a new volunteer to look after the children and take care of things around the sanctuary, Sister Bell. She came highly recommended by the main office in Hartford, bringing her in Mark's Bringing her in marks the completion of staffing the churches after all the... Uh, staffing the church after all these years. The church has been very careful about letting out what happened to those children. As far as I can tell, I'm the only one left who knows about it. Soon I'll be gone, and the sanctuary will be able to go back into service, having finally left those dark times behind. We've even received clearance to move on in a new group of children. Three next week, and another three sometime next month. This is a place of God. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Right, left, up, middle. Like a Lost Woods puzzle, then maybe then... Don't dead open inside. They couldn't have given me a worse last case. Before retirement, old Catholic church out in the middle of nowhere, one missing woman, four missing kids, and one deceased old nun. The brothers and sisters, or whatever the hell the people that work here call themselves, are all terrified and worse, superstitious. All except Father Clark, who runs the place. Him and I drive along the farm roads at night, looking for signs of the missing people, and he makes for pretty good company. There are two kids left, twins. Say they were asleep last night, the night... The four men went missing. The four went missing, rather. Four kids went missing. They also claim that the woman, Miriam Bell, isn't actually gone. When I ask where she is, they look at each other, then back at me, and I tell and tell me to ask her myself. This font might be tripping me up a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit, not too much. Devil's all over the place. Blame the font. Oh, shit! That was really nicely done. Nicely rotoscoped, my good friend. I don't want I bless you, child. <laughs> oh my god. Something about that way. Just the way that audio sounds. It's so fucked up. No skull? No, we, we don't want that. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. We are many. I had no choice. We are many. I had no choice. Fucking people in here? No. <laughs> the, 
that one. Oh my god. Be gone! Fuck! change each time you cleanse something. Okay. I don't know what that said. Sister Belle seems like a naturally cheery person, but when the new children arrived, she became positively elated. She doles over them constantly, takes them on walks, and tells them stories long into the night. I have seen her engaging in strange behavior. We don't teach the children much dancing or singing besides what we found, what is found in the hymns, but I've seen the children dancing around Sister Belle in a circle from time to time. While they dance, she stands still and looks up at the sky as if listening to something. On another occasion, I found all six children standing in a line just outside of the cornfield. They were all looking into the field where Sister Belle was standing and talking to them. These odd games don't bother me too much since she's so good with the children. Her cleaning is excellent too. As soon as she arrived, she seemed to just instantly know her way around. Sister Belle is either possessed or the devil herself or a devil. There could be many different types of devil. Worse than the devil. I will not bless you, child. Wonder Should I go back up this way? Oh, no, 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 it, I was correct. The puzzle is... That is exactly it. That is exactly it. Otherwise, you have to restart. Basement's not fully unlocked yet. You gotta make the sign of the cross first. This morning, we found these very odd objects around the church. The best way I can describe them would be large, life-size dolls made of sticks and dead tree branches. Blair Witch, anyone? Someone must have placed them there while we were sleeping. Hoodlums, maybe? Or a group of weirdos? The twins seem fixated on these doll things. They stare out the window at them all day. I even heard them shout that they saw Miriam standing around them, but when I looked there, there was nobody there. Maybe it's the strange behavior of the twins or the hours of driving these farm roads at night, but this place is getting to me. I, I keep having the same nightmare where I'm standing outside the church looking out into the fields. I can see people looking back at me through the rows of corn. Their bodies are painted red. Quite open yet. Not ready. I should have known this place was no good. The signs were all around me. The disappearances, the creepy twins, the life-size stick dolls, four of them. Around two in the morning, we woke up to the sound of an old woman's cackle coming from the hallway outside the twins' room. I know this sounds crazy, but when we got to the hallway, the laughing was coming from the painting of the Virgin Mary. We, we thought we had just lost our minds. J just then, we heard a loud noise coming from the chapel. We got there just in time to see Miriam drag the twins down the stairs leading to the basement. I drew my service weapon, but was stopped by Father Clark. He said something about God's work and headed down the stairs, sealing the opening to the stairs behind him. The stairs don't seem to open from this side. All I could do was wait. 
I can't describe the noises I heard down there, but one thing is certain, the devil is real. To anyone reading this, please, for the love of God, don't go down into that basement. God's handgun. Video games are getting really advanced. We've we've got flashlight mechanics now. Will you whisper? Super McCubrin. Here I go. Power of Christ compels thee. I have to stay away. More this. Whisper. Here I go. Here I go, my girl, my girl. Oh, shit. Why does Thanos keep showing up and running away? We are gone forever. The nun. Here is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. He that is master of spirits, let three spirits that follow the dragon be put into the effigy of the accursed. Only then can it be purified. You will know it is time when its eyes glow red. To enter the unseen world, destroy the purified effigy with fire. Then shall the door to hell be opened. This is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. Too late. Said it out loud. Here, here, my here, my here. Holy fuck! Holy shit, Cox! Did you- did you fucking hear that? That- That was my controller. Vibrating. Okay, I'm not using my controller for this. The controller started vibrating on my, um, audio interface. And it was like clacking. It was like, it was loud. And it was to, to my right. Jesus fucking Christ. So it just, it got me. It was like a psycho mantis moment. Um, so, apparently there's another ending, which I would love to see, but I'm not going to, you know, get all the points because... Because it's just going to be a lot of effort. You have to get 666 points. You must follow the ritual to the door of hell for the secret. 
I don't really know what that means entirely. Um, hang on a minute. Okay, it says here... Yeah, 666. Yeah. You can also just go back to your car. That would be nice. I don't think that's the case, though. I told you to chase three ghosts into the Scarecrow and purify it. Can you not do that in this demo? Oh, that's how I started the demo. At the end of the demo, don't follow Thanos. Go back to the cornfield. Alright, well, that's, um... That's a mortis. That's amazing. Um, I'll check it out on YouTube. Let's see if it's there. That was a really good follow-up to Faith. And it's just a demo, so there's more. There will be a full stream of that when it's actually out, and apparently this is kind of more of a standalone... Okay. Hey everyone. Manly badass hero. I've, uh... I've shown his- his stuff before. Please don't claim me, manly badass hero. It's just this guy plays a lot of the same games that I play. But you should check out his channel, because he- he does some- some good playthroughs. I've definitely gotten lazy on a number of occasions and used his videos to save my ass. So we're gonna do that now. Oh, I see. So you have to go back. Cleanse the- I see. So that's when you cleanse the Scarecrow for the last time. You need the sound. Okay. So if you remember the letter it gives you at the very end... Alright, well, we're also gonna get- mentioning... This dude's mention commentary. Like ...effigy. And... Here it goes! <laughs> I'm a fire! I'm the running man! Uh oh, he crashed. Ending. Wait, the game crashed? Good game! See, even Crash he it. has... Even he so has the same the problems ending, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta redo the whole thing again. Oh, bloody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that would have pissed me off so bad. Okay, this time I did not crash. Well, also, he didn't die. All the children gather from the corn. <laughs> I completed the ritual. And I think I'm now the, sp the weird spider thing from early on. First faith. The oh, fuck? Okay. Was my existence again? I go down, do I go up? There we go. The sister. <laughs> Thanks, manly badass hero, for that. That was cool. There's a lot of... ...variables there. I understand how it could go wrong. Apparently, if you die when you crash into the Scarecrow, the game just ends. Or crashes, I'm not sure, but... ...that's what I was told. And... Either way, pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up game, that is. It says here they're trying to release it before October, like the, the full Chapter 2, but they're not sure if they could do it. But um, it's a playable teaser. It's a whole game in itself. That's what it says. So. Pretty fucking cool. It, it's not going to happen. In, uh, sorry, not before October. Uh, before Halloween. That's what the email they sent to me said. But it looks, it looks like they may they may not be able to do it, or the the developer may not be able to do it. So I hope he, I hope they do. 
I don't know. I think he mentioned that there's another person possibly helping him. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's really good. I love that follow-up. Faith was one of the most memorable games I played for last year's Halloween. And this one is going to probably be that too. This and Frog Game were legit, but I like the other little games I played tonight too. It's like overall a good, I think a good spoop stream. I do have one more segment, if you're interested. I could probably actually get through this in the next half hour. 